Hey guys, <laughs> it's morning time now. Again, it's nine o'clock. Usually that's how I do this every day. I just open up my vlog, but oh well. I um, just got done with the shower. Um, I did a warm shower and then like, w washed my hair and body and stuff, and then I turned it cold and did a cold shower for a bit. And it feels so good. You have to build up um, your willpower to stay under that cold water for so long. <laughs> uh, let's see, three or four summers ago I did the polar plunge. And the water today was colder than the polar plunge water. So, <clears throat> Though I didn't do a polar plunge when it was all icy. The bullet punch I did was a diabetes camp a couple years ago. It's end of June, so it's it was in the low high 40s, low 50s in the mornings. For, for those of you just wondering, I did change my line set. I'm not the best at doing it anymore. But, I have a box of land sets. They're over. It's over there now. The box. Um, I had that on my desk for a while. So every time I test it, I can just change the land set. Um, but I took it off, and I'm not doing those often anymore. <laughs> But these ones, I think you're supposed to change it every one or two pricks. And this one, I think I had for like four or five days, so maybe 20 pricks. <laughs> so yeah. I'm 290. Um, gotta calibrate. No, not pull this. I'm gonna calibrate. The other thing I really need to do today is download my pump. Because... Um, it's going to be a pain in the butt to go through all that data. But it'll be good. So yeah, I'm going to go get breakfast. I might have a chance to come down soon and do the download. Otherwise I'll do it later today. Um, so I just did a bit of experimenting <laughs> um, with the RC cars. So this is the control box mechanism thingy for the cars. Um, and it's one screw that holds it in under the frame of the car. It's one screw that holds it on the frame. The screw isn't up here. This one, this one isn't screwed in either, but... Um... So since I can't... Can I do this one-handed? I just can't. If I can get a steady camera angle... That's close enough. Fuck. Oh. No. Awesome. And so... Better light. Um, since I can't communicate with this one, with this controller, um, I can use this one, and it does work on both. Now I have two batteries, and so with this I can just stick it into a car and drive it. Here, just do it on this one. I have a new one, real quick. Set up the tripod. <laughs> there we go. Are you gonna stay? Nope. There we go. That should work. Um. So yeah, it's really easy for me to. Uh, if I don't do it backwards. Yeah. 
just pops in like that. And then a screw from the bottom. It's too long. With the screw. Plug in the uh, things. Just put it over again. <laughs> Turn it on. And then. I can control it. <laughs> Oops. I'm swim. Glad that works. I wasn't fully expecting for me to be able to get both of them to work. I can only use one at a time, which I'm fine with. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's anything up on the ceiling. I don't know why you guys were looking up there. Um, so yeah, I just have a lot of schoolwork to do and all the else. If I can, it's warm, it's gonna be warm enough today. I might go out and uh, I can fly the quadcopter over there. But I might also do the uh, that guy. That's an amphibious car. Let's zoom in on, I guess. It's an amphibious car, and I might go out and fly my quadcopter over there. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are pretty busy for me because I have Boy Scouts and church activity and all that. And the rest of the week really isn't busy for me <laughs> too much. So yeah. I seem to end a lot of my clips with, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Hey yeah, guys, it's about... what time is it? It's 4 o'clock now. <laughs> I need to go into the dishwasher and then I can go out and fly that once that's done charging and then we go out and drive these guys around. Um, I don't think I'm going to put a camera on them today. Also, this is done. In the past I put cameras on them and drove them around, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. I'll probably do a little bit of photography. I'm going to rub my penny board and... Uh, Follow these. <laughs> Another thing I want to do at some point too is fix the mast on these, on this, uh, this helicopter. Oh, please. Um, stop it. Um, so this isn't, it's broken. And it's not strong enough to get off the ground anymore. But I can put it on the Something kind of like that, right? Or like this, I think. Yeah. So that it'll it'll push the car. <laughs> it'll push the car along. I might have pictures of it somewhere. But so I want to fix that. Cause it, it's really fun to drive. Um, <laughs> you have to be careful with it because if you go too fast with the motors, with the helicopter spinning, you can flip. Yeah, I'm going to go into the dishwasher so I can go and get some exercise and have fun.
So I got my... Need to wait for that guy to cool down. Um, I'm kind of bored chasing it around for a bit now. Um, so now I'm going to fly a quadcopter. Um, I'm not going to be able to do too much video of me flying it because I need two hands to fly it. And for some reason I don't have three arms. Or three hands, so... <laughs> I'll let you guys know how the flight goes. It's a little bit windy, but it's not too bad. So that was fun. <laughs> A little bit of asthma now. Um, so yeah, I rode around to the quadcopter. I didn't fly very far or very long because it's that the tiny bit, tiniest <coughs> bit too windy for me to have uh, stable control with it. And under control and all that fun stuff. And then, I've flown it so often, crashed it so often, and I've broken a lot of my frame. So yeah. The frame comes off, I can take it off and replace it, but it's not really worth it. Uh, with a little bit of ele electrical tall tape, I could fix it. And then my younger, youngest two siblings were chasing the car around for a bit. Um, I think the new one's actually a little bit faster, more powerful than my other one. My my older one has better acceleration, I think, but not top speed <laughs> or handling for that matter. So it's fun. It's really easy to switch out the control panel. The control panel. <laughs> So yeah, it's dinner time in a couple minutes, and yeah, uh, watching this video here, I was watching it, of uh, uh, electric cargo bikes that, that DHL is using to uh, ship stuff. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be a fun job, biking around. The big crates, but it's electric bike, so be a fun job. Something I want to get at some point is a Velmobile, but they're so expensive. And something I was looking at today was pricing the prices of like a cargo van or a sprinter van or a bus or even just a pre built RV. Um, so I like, I like to live in live near my parents, but when I move out I don't want to have to rent an apartment and waste money on that. It's not really a waste of money to have a building and address and stuff, but um, if I live in that I can just have stuff sent to my parents' address and do my mail that way. <laughs> it's quite distracting for me to do this, isn't it? Um, but, so yeah, I'm gonna go eat dinner. Um, so for the little, past little bit I've been doing some gardening. Um, mm, um, so I got my... These flowers haven't been doing well in their pot, as you can kind of see. Um, the grass is doing fine, it isn't a baggy. So I got two patches of grass. Um, some flowers, and this guy has been doing well either. So hopefully, I'm gonna try and keep this soil pretty moist for a bit. Gotta get them regrowing, and then <clears throat> in the, it is in this grass, I think I found a little caterpillar. And so he's in here. Yeah. 
Got a little brown thing there. And the spider is up on the stick here. There we go. <laughs> so, yep. <clears throat> oh, it's kind of hard to see in this one. But the uh, flower is way up there now, too. Way down here on the ground, kind of. <laughs> but. That one's doing well. When I, put, when I planted that in there, they were uh, about this size here. It's not very big. Um, and then this pink flower here. I have another one over in that terrarium. Uh, that was doing well. But the soil on this one was really, really dry. So hopefully it'll survive. And then I have tiny little red ants. I saw it over here last. In here. <laughs> I got some ants, I got a spider and a worm in there. I put two worms in there, but when I took it apart, and here's all the soil from it. The old one. I went through the soil a couple times looking for the other worm. Didn't find it. So you have one worm in there and the spider and a caterpillar. Yeah. Ants, they're still alive. <laughs> and then hopefully I can get these guys back to health. So this this grass was in a bag. Yeah. And before I seal it up, we just put some of the water in there. Yeah. This moss is doing well and that was doing well. Watered that a little bit. So, those plants are all doing well, because they're in a sealed environment, and same humidity and conditions and stuff. I mean, it's a little bit of an asthma attack. I'm just curious why. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I really have anything else to do today. Uh, oh, something I do need to finish today is the lawnmower. Not the lawnmower, the trailer video. Um, how far am I on that? And yes, I'm running Windows. <laughs> Let's have a custom taskbar. This is the editing software I use, is hip film. Um, actually, it's right there. For a while. Alright, trailer, open. Uh, you can do a lot with that film. I'm not using it to its full potential in the slightest. Oh, it loaded, just the switch the camera. Um, I, think it, it's, I think it's almost completely done being edited. There's a little tiny snippets of clips I have to add in. And then I think I'll be done. I'm going to have this up like last Friday. A little while. And then I have a bunch of other videos to edit to get up. I don't need to get them up that way. I need to edit them at some point, but I don't have to do it today because I have a couple of videos backed up and ready to be up already uploaded, ready to be published. They're scheduled. So yeah. As I said earlier, I think. Thursdays really aren't busy for me. <sighs> oh, yeah. I have another flower up there. <laughs> I might just water it a bunch and see how it does. So what does this say? It says... 36 hours of AM sun and PM shade. And then... Now, at 36 hours of daily sun, they grow up to 4 to 8 inches tall and 3 inches wide. And the water on the top 1 inch of soil is dry. But my bulbs aren't buried very deep. Because these are bulbs. So, I'll water them a little more often than that. Hopefully this other little plant perks up. Well, it's really starting to perk up a little bit. It's not dry and crumbly anymore. <laughs> so, see you next clip, I guess.
There's a scenario window. It's a beautiful sunset out right now. Uh, throw some, take some pictures. But the talus is good. <laughs> About 20 minutes long. Um, so we had this tree here cut down um, this fall. Now this spring there's all this orange stuff and there's flies flying around and stuff. I just wonder if any of you guys know what that is. Um, I could do the research, but laziness. <laughs> um, yeah. It's like it's almost like sap that went rancid. I've seen like a dark brown umber, but not this bright orange before. So. Yeah. It's 8, 8.30 now. I just gonna put the vlog together. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> bye bye.